let's make some pineapple salsa. All right, gang, let's get started on this pineapple salsa. I wanted this video to be under two minutes and I already wasted 30 seconds on that stupid beer chug intro. So cut up your pineapple small and then cut it smaller. A little rough chop after you already cut it small. You could put this in a food processor probably too, but I just don't like cleaning that thing. So I'm gonna use this and then take a half of a jalapeno and a half of a Fresno chili, de-seed them and then cut them again small and then smaller. Uh, once again, food processor would be, probably be fine. You can throw this whole thing into the food processor and be good, but I just like using my knife and cutting board because I can wash it easier, and I hate doing dishes. Cut that very small, and once it's like the consistency of a tiny relish, you are good to go. As you can see right here, this bad boy is about ready to be added to the bowl alongside that pineapple. And then once that's in there, you can get to just chopping up a little bit of cilantro to top it. This recipe is super simple, only has four ingredients and no cooking, nothing very complicated here. So give it a little tossle, a little jostle, and then make sure, uh, oh, I'm still jostling it? Oh, I, okay, code chill. Chill, man. All right, and then we're going to add just a sprinkle of salt to that. This is a good pink sea salt. I recommend using a nice salt in anything you're cooking because it'll just level up your dishes more. And boom, you have a nice pineapple salsa, perfect for fish tacos. And on my Instagram, I made it with a black and mahi mahi, which was... Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope this recipe serves you well. And thank you to my 700 plus subscribers now. I don't know why over 700 of you want to watch my dumbass cooking, but I am appreciative for every one of you. And I wish you all the best. Take care.